The last year's been one big hurdle for Army Staff Sergeant Alfredo de los Santos since a rocket propelled grenade in Afghanistan blew his right leg off just below the knee. But de los Santos says the last two weeks have been like a dream since he got a new prosthetic knee called an X2, the latest in microprocessor design. It's unbelievable the things I can do right now. I can pretty much do the same thing you do. Things like walking backwards, which his physical therapist at the Walter Reed Army Medical Center calls a huge leap. On the other prosthetic knees, you're not able to do that because the knee will just give way on you. There's no support there for you. And he's putting the new knee to good use. I think this is quite difficult. I've done it myself, and it's hard. With two good legs. With, with two good legs, and Freddie's doing this with... Uh, really one leg and just a little tiny bit of another one. De Los Santos and Marine Gunnery Sergeant Marcus Wilson are two of the amputees trying out the new knee. Been able to go up steps, step over step, been able to walk down really, really steep grade hills and ramps. Um, just a lot of benefits. Probably as close as we've gotten so far to being able to, to do the same thing as a regular knee would. Both sergeants suffered their injuries in combat overseas, and part of the new prosthetics aim is to get them ready for deployment again. But for now, it's simply allowing them to get back to doing what they like to do. For Wilson, that's playing basketball. I can jump, not much, <laughs> but um, the running we're still working on, you know, but I got my little, I got my little ways to get across the court. More of like a hop, weird looking thing. And for De Los Santos, it's just having some fun with his new leg. Let's say you've been in your car and as a passenger, and there's not enough space. You could pretty much play with the leg. And, you know, it's just unbelievable. Some of the things that you can do with it, like if I need to tie my shoes, I could just go poop, tie it up, and it's just amazing and the tiny remote control that changes the leg settings. I can put it in cycling mode, and you're going to hear the, the beep. See, now it's in cycling mode, so it's pretty loose now. It hasn't been easy along the way, with some misses. But De Los Santos says the most important part may be psychological. I feel normal. Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, Washington.